What's up everybody? Welcome to GIS Chops. My name's Jeff and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notified of new content. Right now I'm in the middle of a giveaway. I'm giving away this magnetic levitation globe to celebrate 500 subs. We're gonna go until August 19th, so you have until then to qualify. Stick around to the end of the video to see how you can qualify. In this edition of Tool Belt Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about the Rotate Tool in conjunction with the Move Tool, which we talked about last week. If you missed that video, hit that uh, card up in the upper right corner and watch that one and then come back to this one. I rotate features all the time, especially parcels and more specifically condos. I'll digitize a unit and then I'll copy and paste it and then move it to where another building is and then I rotate it to match the plan. I'll show you how I do that. So you can find the Rotate tool by going to the Edit tab and then in the Tools group hit this drop down arrow and the Rotate tool is here in the Alignment group. Now I didn't have anything selected so it's wanting me to select some features so I'm going to select this condo then it switches to the Rotate tool. Notice it also has the Move and the Scale tools because they're paired up because they work well together. You can also find it by opening up the Modify Features pane and in the Alignment group, here it is in the Rotate. This time I had a parcel selected, so it went right to the Rotate tool. So like I said at the beginning, I'll use the Rotate tool a lot with condos when I'm entering condos in my parcel layer. I'll select a condo, copy it, and paste it to my parcel layer and if you don't know how to copy and paste features, I've done a video about that, so click that card up there in the upper right. Go check out that video. So now that I've copied and pasted it, that new condo building is now selected and it's ready to rotate, but I don't want to rotate it yet. I want to move it, then rotate it. And then to finish the rotate, I hit this finish button or press F2 on the keyboard. I do that quite often. It saves me a lot of time to digitize a building that is the same. Copy it, paste it, move it, and rotate it. Sometimes condos, they have two or three different types of buildings. So I might have to digitize each different type, but then I keep copying and pasting and moving and rotating. So the rotate tool utilizes the anchor point just like the move tool does except it has this little green circle around it and that green circle is divided up into sections each section is 10 degrees and I believe this is intended to be used with the grid and you can turn the edit grid on down here with this button and you can change the settings here by going to grid settings I have it set so that each square is five feet square you can mess around with that maybe I'll cover that in a future video so I've got my anchor point, and just like with the Move tool, if I hold down Control and click this vertex, it's going to drop the anchor point on that vertex. Now you can see that the circle, the top line lines up with the grid, and so does each of the cardinal directions. Now when I rotate, I can see that I'm moving it there's 10 degrees right there. That's for eyeballing it. If you want to specify the angle, I'm going to cancel this. If you want to specify the angle to rotate, uh, do control click and then hit the A key and that will give you an angle. You put in 10 degrees and I've got it set to decimal degrees. And you can change that unit to be degrees, minutes, seconds, or radians. So I like degrees, minutes, seconds. So I want to rotate that 31 degrees, 27 minutes, and 32 seconds. So that rotated it for me. I hit the checkbox. So what if I want this condo to be parallel, or this line of the condo unit to be parallel 
to the condo boundary. I can do that by snapping to the edge of the condo. Now I switch to my rotate tool and if I press S on the keyboard it drops a secondary anchor and that S is a toggle so you, it turns on and off every time you hit it. And it also does what the anchor point does. If I hit S while I'm snapped to a point it will go to that point. Now when I rotate that secondary anchor point is going to snap to other features so there it snapped to the edge of the condo boundary and then I commit the, the change. Now I can move it over here where it belongs. So that's the secondary anchor. That's pretty handy when you're trying to get things to line up perfectly and you don't know the exact angle but you have a feature that that you want it to be parallel to or just snap to and you can move that secondary anchor point around. Also with this secondary anchor I can hold down control and drag it wherever I want. Same with the move tool. It allows you to do that with the anchor point. And I can move and drag the anchor point by holding down control. So either either anchor point, if you hover over it, hold down control, you can drag it. Or but I like the the control click method. So remember, control click moves the anchor point. S toggles the secondary point on and off and if you snap to a vertex or an edge S will snap the secondary to that point. So turn off and then snap to that vertex. Control for the anchor point S for the secondary anchor point. So rotating lines is a lot like rotating polygons. You go to the rotate tool, select the line, move the anchor point, add the secondary anchor point, move it to where I want it, and then just rotate it till it snaps. And then commit the change. Rotating a point is a different matter though. If I select a single point, it allows me to rotate it, but I mean it doesn't do anything there's no there's no indicator of it being rotated I don't have an attribute that keeps track of its angle so I don't know if I did have that attribute if if ArcGIS Pro would track my rotation and, and put that in the attribute I don't know but if you select multiple points and then rotate and I'll anchor on this point here now I can rotate all all those points. So rotating one point, I don't know, maybe you know of a reason why you would do that other than it being stored in an attribute. But uh, selecting a bunch of points and rotating those, you can, you can do that. So that's the rotate tool. If you have any questions about it, put them down in the comments. Now to win that globe, you have to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment on this video or the previous video and that'll get you qualified. So just remember that drawing is going to happen next week so be sure to do those things before then. If you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe you can do that right here. If you want to see the other tools I've featured in Tool Belt Tuesday check out that playlist over there. If you want to see my latest video that's up here. So we'll see you next time.